and they ensure an inspiration for the future. Soldiers and commanders may come and go, however the colors are gone. The soldiers. The one other troop command command sergeant major, and command sergeant major Brett D. Moore, will pass the color to Colonel Neil Mitsuyoshi, who has held the responsibility for the last two years. Colonel Detachment 1, Company G, 3 of the 126th Aviation Regiment, Medevac. Those go! Detachment 3, Company Charlie, 2 of the 641st Aviation Regiment. <laughs> Both colonels are experts in their field. Neil as an engineer officer and Tyson as a logistician. As commander for the 103rd Troop Command, Neil has provided oversight of the transition of the aviation units from, to different units and assignments in different airframes. And also some, some of the equipment changes that occurred in, in the 230th Engineer Company. He has supervised the mobilization, deployments, and redeployments of Bravo 777 to Kuwait, the 2641 Aviation to Afghanistan, Bravo 1171 to Afghanistan, and the 297 Firefighters to Bulgaria and Romania. Under his command, the 189 Medevac stood up, and the 238 Engineers supported the Hawaii National Guard State Partnership Program in Pacific Partnership in Tacloban, Philippines. There, the 230 had helped rebuild a prenatal clinic for expectant mothers in partnership with the Navy Seabees. He also ensured that Harang celebrated their 100-year legacy of the 111th Army Band. As a full-time G4 for the Hawaiian National Guard, Army National Guard, Colonel Tahara oversees the Army National Guard logistics and maintenance of vehicles and equipment across the state of Hawaii. As I stated earlier, Tyson's role as G4 was critical in ensuring the Hawaii National Guard was prepared with the vehicles and equipment necessary to provide rapid response to the Wainia floods on the North Shore Kauai, Leilani Estates during the lava eruption and for the Hurricane Lanes, Olivia and her Hurricane Lane and Olivia during uh, last year's season. So congratulations, Neil, for a successful command, and thank you, Aaron, for supporting Neil. He couldn't have done it without your support. And my message to you, Neil, is that there is still life after Brigade Level Command, and you will live long and in the Hawaii National Guard and continue to prosper. Congratulations, Tyson, for your command. And I said this before, and I'll say it all, all again um, in speeches. You know, command comes with great power, and with great power comes great responsibility. I'm confident that you'll be able to build on the foundation Colonel Mitsuyoshi built and take the 103rd Troop Command to higher levels. Enjoy the time in your career and make the most of it. And thank you, uh, General Kawivi, for those uh, kind words. It it uh, truly has been a pleasure to serve under your leadership again. And I wish I could have stayed a, a lot longer. The change of command ceremony has, ob has obvious symbolic significance, but it also serves as a venue for a commander to convey the outstanding work his troops have done. And more importantly, to acknowledge and to give thanks. So today, I'm really gonna mostly talk about people, especially the incredible men and women that fill the ranks of the outstanding units you see before you. Readiness is our number one priority, and we don't want to give up the great traditions and ceremonies that are very important to our military heritage. But at the same time, every soldier standing in formation is one less soldier training and getting ready to face the tremendous challenges we have today with near-peer state competitors, non-state actors, and new domains in cyber and space. Command is always the best assignment, and command and its people have made it another memorable one. I can't believe two years have already passed, but even more so, I can't believe that our units and soldiers have achieved so much in those two short years. And uh, to the soldiers, NCOs, warrants, 
and officers of True Command. Your hard work, unwavering support, dedication and professionalism does not go unnoticed. There are a lot of smart and capable soldiers, but it is the positive culture and character you bring that lead and ensure lasting success. I want to especially thank you, and, and really this list goes out to all, for the personal sacrifices that you and your families make to be citizen soldiers in the Hawaii Army National Guard. Thank you for putting on the uniform and then putting your lives on hold whenever duty called to support our great nation in times of war or our state in times of disaster. You make me proud to be your commander and to serve alongside you. I'm excited and eager to lead and learn not only about, um, what you call those things? The propellers? <laughs> the helicopters. Not only, not only about the helicopters, but all of the 14 companies that make up Troop Command. You know, I'd like to reassure the Harang and Hing leadership that Troop Command will be ready when called upon we'll, to provide ready forces for both our federal and state missions. We'll focus on readiness, continue to focus on readiness, and mission command. You know, we provide challenging and realistic training and learn not from failures, but from minor setbacks. <laughs> so mahalo, Kupala 06 signing in. Thank you. Hey.